Brooks Belanger here with BMB Drainage Solutions, and today I'm going to be bringing you a three-part video series. And in this video, part one, what I'd like to do is discuss and give you an idea of what type of water issue this particular client was experiencing on his property. I'm also going to show you some of the damages that uh, caused concern for the homeowner and prompted him to first contact a foundation company and then later on down the road he would contact a structural engineer who actually came out and evaluated and wrote up a report for his particular property. After that what I'd like to do is go over the drainage systems that we will be installing on this property. We will be installing two separate drainage systems. One will be a surface drainage system and the other will be the gutter downspout drainage system. So let's get in the backyard and take a look at this uh, particular property. Okay, so here we are in the back of the property and this is where the water issue originates and the biggest problem with this particular lawn in this neighborhood is, is that it is one of the lowest sitting lawns um, to the north and to the south. So you have all that water draining onto his property from the north and it starts over here in this back corner right here especially during three to four inch rain events the water rises comes all the way through here up onto the porch the last um, large rain fall that we had he was telling me that the water actually reached his back step back there by the um, back entrance the water then flows through this area and then the water starts coming in over here on the south corner of the property and starts to flow this way. They merge together right over here and then come down and the water flows all along the side of the property right here to the, to the street. Also, due to the fact that he has open gutter downspouts, all the water from the roof would be dispersed into these flower beds. And you can see he's got these brick edging here. The grading is not correct around the house. So all that water would pool right here in the flower beds. You're talking depths of two to three inches. Same thing over here with the water coming in here. Homeowner was telling me that at one point the water was a good four inches in depth. So that is your water issue. You have water coming onto his property from adjoining um, houses or properties and then he has open gutter downspouts and poor grading around the home which contributes to water collecting and sitting around the home from the open gutter downspouts okay now that I've shown you the water issue that he's having on his particular property. I want to show you some of the damages that the homeowner noted and caused some concern for him and prompted him to contact a structural engineer. These repairs have already been made, but you should be able to tell in the difference of the mortar to see where they've already been fixed. There was a large crack here, actually came all the way along here. Hopefully you can tell on the camera the difference in the mortar between what's been fixed this is the old this is the new some of these cracks were significant also had it over here okay and then we got this large crack on his back porch which can be contributed to the water issue on his property. This is the front of the home and this was perhaps the largest crack that the homeowner um, saw 
and was concerned with originally. This crack has been repaired, but it ran all the way down here, went back this way, came down through here, and actually went all the way down there. I did see a picture of this crack before it was fixed, and I can tell you that it was um, it was substantial. It also came all the way back this way, and right there. So now that I've shown you the water issue and some of the uh, damages that the homeowner was experiencing on his property, I now want to go over real quickly some of the corrective measures we're going to take in order to alleviate his water problem. And these were suggested by the structural engineer in his report. We did, we did make some modifications to his suggestions, so I'm going to go over those with you and let's do that real quick. So starting on the south side of the property, we will have a 12 inch catch basin here, discharging into six inch drain line, which will go all the way to here. Tie into that six inch way, and then it'll go all the way to the street and discharge at the curb. Back here to collect the water Coming in from the property on the south side, we will have a 12 inch catch basin discharging to 4 inch line, which will tie into our 6 inch line. We will grab these gutter downspouts here and here and tie them into our 6 inch discharge line. Over here on the north side of the property to correct our drainage issues over here, we're going to have a catch basin back here in this bed. We don't know exactly where. We do have a main electric line coming through this area. So the electric company has to be here when we dig. So they may um, determine where that catch basin can be placed. But it will be back in, back in that area. It will discharge to a 4 inch drain line. Which will discharge to a sump pump in this area. That sump pump will then tie into our 4 inch drain line from these two gutter downspouts. And then that drain line, 4 inch drain line, will go all the way to the end, or excuse me, to the beginning of his driveway. That's where the client wanted to disperse it. I would have rather taken it all the way to the street. Let me show you that real quick. So we're going to end it right here or right at the beginning of the driveway right there we'll grab that gutter downspout and all that water will be dispersed down the driveway uh, to save money and to reduce cost we're not going to take it all the way to the street curb so that'll do it for part one of this three-part video series um, you know I do want to explain that a lot of these structural problems that the homeowner is experiencing with his home can also be contributed to and related to the types of soil that we have here in the northwest Arkansas area and that is clay soils and it's important to understand that these uh, or those types of soils will are prone to expansion during periods of, of a lot of rain and water and during periods of drought and dry periods shrinkage so it's important that you have a gutter downspout system installed around your home and also that the grading be correct so that water doesn't collect and sit around your foundation contributing to the expansion of the clay soils. So in the second part of this video series we'll be demonstrating how to design and install a gutter downspout system there are two gutter downspouts on this property that I didn't show you that are a perfect po poster child of what not to do whenever installing a gutter downspout system. And in the second part, we will show you how 
we install the surface drainage um, portion of this drainage system. So stay tuned and hopefully we'll bring you some good information. And as always, any questions, any comments, leave them down below. And we look forward to seeing you in part two. Thanks for watching.